I found the 10 most common industries in the world and you are almost certainly going to work in one or multiple of these at some point. And I'm gonna rate these industries from one to 10. I'm gonna talk about which ones I think are the best and which ones are the worst. So the first one is going to be food and beverage. Now, one thing that's great about this industry is that it definitely is essential, right? So people always are gonna to have to eat food and drink liquids. So even when the economy goes down, industries like this tend to stay relatively stable. But to be honest with you, industries like this are very difficult for you to stand out in. The skills that you learn in an industry like this don't necessarily translate all that much to other industries. And even within the industry itself, they aren't that valuable. You can get replaced relatively easily in most jobs. So for instance, the US packaged food market size is about 1.03 trillion, and it's expected to increase at a compound annual growth rate of 4.8%. So overall, it's not a dying industry, but at the same time, it's not an industry that has a massive amount of opportunity. I'll go ahead and give this one a three out of 10 industry money score. Next one on the list is going to be retail. And I think everybody knows what this is, you know, going to Walmart, going to a local store and buying stuff, but it also includes buying stuff online. So shopping at a company like Amazon. Now this can be relatively saturated as you can imagine, but a lot of people have had success starting their own businesses on Etsy, Amazon, Shopify, or their own personal website. Website. So it really all comes down to finding the right products. Now, that being said, having to deal with shipping and logistics, all that sort of thing can be a huge pain in the butt. Uh, we saw how bad that got this last year or two with the supply chain issues, but retail is still relatively good. Uh, it grew by 7% in 2020, 14% in 2021, and annually over the last 10 years, it's grown by about 3.7% per year. So relatively solid one to get into. I'll give this one a seven out of 10. Next industry is going to be advertising advertising and marketing. So this is one of those meta skills where if you learn advertising and marketing, you can apply it to just about any industry or any business out there. Every single business has to market in order to acquire customers. So the cool thing about working in this industry, learning this skill set is that if you want to change later on, it's extremely flexible. And on top of that, even when the economy goes down, businesses are still going to have to market in order to acquire customers. Because if you don't market, you're not going to acquire customers. And if you don't have any customers, you really don't have a business. Of course, some people will get laid off, but it's not going to be as bad as other industries, in my opinion. Now, there are a ton of different marketing related careers. Some really valuable ones would be SEO, which is search engine optimization. Email marketing can be really good. So learning the copywriting as well as the technical side of sending out emails or newsletters. And then pay-per-click is really good as well. And that's when you know, an ad pops up. If you click on it, uh, the person who did the ad has to pay an advertiser a certain amount of money. So this would be like Google pay-per-click, Facebook ads, etc. And digital marketing is is one of those career paths that I recommend to people all the time. People seem to be very happy going down that career path. If you want to check out more about digital marketing, there is a free masterclass, which I'll link down in the description, as well as the pinned comment below from my friend Seth. But yeah, overall, this one is going to get a 10 out of 10, uh, learning this skill set, getting into the industry, super valuable, super flexible. You know, you can do freelance, you can you know have your own business, or if you want to, you can just work a job and rise up within a company. Next one on the list is automotive. So this, of course, is the manufacturing of vehicles. So in 2021, 1.53 trillion was the revenue generated by motor vehicle and parts dealers. But this one actually did decrease over the pandemic. The amount of cars sold went down and that kind of makes sense because a lot of people would say having one car for a family is a necessity, but buying that extra one is something that you may or may not do. And if the economy goes down, you're probably gonna choose to not do it. So yeah, automotive can be good, but we saw how badly affected it was by the pandemic. This one is gonna get a five out of 10 industry money score. Next one on the list is education. And this is a very broad topic. There's all kinds of different types of education. Now you've got college education, you've got the certification industry, you've got all kinds of industries that train people how to get into technical jobs, into trades careers. You've got alternative education, which is what I've been talking about a lot lately on this channel. And this would include online training courses, boot camps, and alternative colleges. So yeah, education is a really good one to get into. I would say it really depends on what career path you go down. There are a lot of education career paths that don't pay all that well. But I also do think there is a ton of opportunity, especially in alternative education. So this one does have a market size of about 1.8 trillion in the US in 2022. I'm gonna give this one an eight out of 10 industry money score. Next one on the list is healthcare and pharmaceuticals. Now this one I have a lot of opinions on, especially since I am a pharmacist. Healthcare in the US is just an absolute mess and that's all I'm gonna say about that. But with that being said, just purely from a business perspective, uh, healthcare has a ton of 
opportunity. One of the best industries you can go into. And this is not just as an employee, but also starting your own business. So in 2020 alone, uh, the national healthcare expenditure was $4.1 trillion. And that means about $12,500 was spent per person in 2020 alone. So massive, massive industry. Um, this one is gonna get a nine out of 10 when it comes to the industry money score. Next one on the list is business support and logistics. So this is the industries that sort of form the infrastructure that support businesses in the United States, as well as the logistics side of things. And there is a lot of opportunity for people who work for businesses that support other businesses, right? And not just on the employee side, but also on the starting your own business side of things. It's much easier to make money and sell high ticket products to businesses rather than people, right? Because if you think about it, there is a lot of businesses out there that could very easily spend $100,000 if you solve a big problem for them. But there are very few people out there that are gonna spend that same amount of money. So yeah, business support and logistics, a great industry to get into. I know a ton of business owners that make really good money doing this. I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10. Next one on the list is entertainment and leisure. And when I was studying the industries that tend to do the best when it comes to recessions, I was very surprised that industry and leisure actually does really well. And the reason for that is because a lot of the time when recessions come, people actually spend more time indoors doing things like playing video games, watching Netflix, etc. So of course, certain types of entertainment and leisure, like you know going to Disney World or Universal, yeah, that's gonna go down. But a lot of the time when it comes to digital side of things, it's actually gonna go up. So it's projected that in 2022, the total revenue of the entertainment industry is growing by 7.69%. And I really do just think this one is gonna keep going up as time goes on. It's actually ridiculous how much time people spend on their phones, TV, computer, et cetera, consuming content. And it's really just been going up and up. I mean, people are spending like 10 hours a day consuming content at least. So yeah, entertainment and leisure, 10 out of 10. Finance is the next one on the list. This one, I will say, I always try to warn people about this. It is pretty hardcore. Uh, you do have to work really hard here. But with that being said, if you're an ambitious type person, finance might be the best industry to go into. Finance makes up a whopping 7.4% of the entire US GDP. And there are 6.6 .6 million Americans working in finance. And it's probably similar throughout the rest of the world. So yeah, ton of opportunity here, especially if you're ambitious. This one gets a 10 out of 10 money score. Next one is going to be construction and machinery. So supporting infrastructure, building houses, building uh, different office buildings, etc. Super important, obviously. The construction market size in the USA alone was 1.9 trillion in 2021. And the market is expected to grow at about 3% per year. So this is one of those industries that if you're willing to kind of roll your sleeves up and work really hard, you can make a good income. Definitely not for everyone, but there's a lot of opportunity in construction and machinery, not only at the lower levels working in jobs, but also freelancing or starting your own business. And I would say especially on the starting your own business side. So I'll go ahead and give this one a seven out of 10 industry money score. Check this out right here. I made it just for you. Go ahead, gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. And I will see you next time.